subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Mom, I need a light blue hand towel for my project in school, but I have a dark blue one here. Do you have any idea how I can turn it to a lighter blue towel? Sure, you can make the color lighter by soaking it in a diluted bleach solution. It's not as light as I want it to be. Maybe I ought to pour in more bleach so that it becomes lighter blue faster. Oh, what have I done? Why do you think Amina's towel turned white when she poured in more bleach into the basin? How do the five factors affect rate of reaction based on collision theory? Click on any of the factors to know more. Observe the animation. What can you see? The smaller the size of a reactant, the bigger is its total surface area. This will provide more surface area for collisions to take place between the reacting particles. Thus, the probability of the particles colliding into each other is higher. In other words, the number of collision increases as the size of reactants decrease. The increase in number of collisions increases the probability of effective collisions which in turn increases the frequency of effective collision. The increase in frequency of effective collision results in a higher rate of reaction. What can you conclude? Increasing the concentration of a reactant in a chemical reaction will increase the amount of the reacting particles. Let us look at the animation. What do you notice? When there is more reacting particles, the probability of the particles colliding into each other is higher. In other words, the number of collision increases with concentration. The increase in number of collisions increases the probability of effective collisions, which means that frequency of effective collisions increases too. The increase in frequency of effective collisions will in turn increase the rate of reaction. What can you conclude? Increasing the temperature of a reaction increases the average speed of reacting particles. Let us drag the temperature slider to 30 degrees centigrade. Now, 50 degrees centigrade. What can you observe? The number of collisions increases as the temperature increases. Why does the number of collisions increase as the temperature increases? What would happen to the number of collisions as the temperature increases? Moreover, these particles have more kinetic energy and thus they produce more energetic collisions that can exceed the activation energy. This results in a larger number of effective collision. The increase in number of effective collisions will increase the frequency of effective collision. This in turn increases the rate of reaction. What can you conclude? A catalyst provides another pathway for the reactants to become products. This pathway is an alternative pathway with a lower activation energy. How is the catalyst able to provide this alternative pathway? Let's observe the animation. 
The molecules are absorbed by the surface of the catalyst that allows the reaction to take place via a different sequence of steps. These different sequences of steps require less energy to start the reaction. Due to the lower activation energy in the alternative pathway, more effective collisions can take place, thus increasing the frequency of effective collisions. This will make the rate of reaction higher. What can you conclude? How can pressure affect the collision of particles in a reaction? Let us observe the animation. As external pressure on a gas's reaction mixture increases, the number of reacting particles per unit volume increases. The particles are closer to each other, thus the probability of the particles colliding with each other is higher. Increase in number of collisions will result in higher number of effective collisions. This will then increase the frequency of effective collision, resulting in an increase in the rate of reaction. What can you conclude? Click on each of these boxes. Collision theory states that a reaction only occurs if the particles A. collide into each other B. Have sufficient energy C. Collide in the correct orientation Size of reactant When the particle size decreases, the total surface area exposed for reaction increases. Frequency of effective collisions increases, thus increasing the rate of reaction. Concentration when the concentration is increased, the number of particles per unit volume increases. Frequency of effective collisions increases, thus increasing the rate of reaction. Temperature When the temperature is increased, the number of particles with the activation energy required increases. Frequency of effective collisions increases, thus increasing the rate of reaction. Pressure When the pressure is increased, the number of particles per unit volume increases. Frequency of effective collisions increases, thus increasing the rate of reaction. Catalyst a catalyst will provide an alternative pathway with lower activation energy for the product of the reaction to form. With lower activation energy, the frequency of effective collisions increases, thus increasing the rate of reaction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.